Hi everybody, so this is a quick tutorial video on what I went over in our Zoom lesson on Thursday um, about using Soundtrap and how to get there. Um, so you can play around a little bit before um, we do our recording tomorrow. You're gonna want to open a web browser, whichever one you prefer. I'm using Chrome right now, and you're gonna to go to soundtrap.com. It'll bring you to their main web page. Up in the right hand corner, you're going to hit login and you're going to type in one of the passwords and usernames that I have posted in uh, under the music section in Moodle. Great, and that's going to bring you into your um, your, the login for here, and you're going to see down here under My Projects, it says Only the Theater for Me. To access this project, you're going to hit the Studio button, which will open the project for you. It may take a second. You can close this window for right now. Um, so on the left-hand side, you'll see all your names. And at the bottom here is um, the track that's just the accompaniment for the only the theater for me. Don't worry about that one. Don't touch it. Don't think about it. It's just there. So step one is to go on the left hand side here and find your name. I am going to be Cole for right now. So if I'm Cole and I wanted to go in and I wanted to record. The first thing I want to do is hit this little earphone button. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's going to solo out this line. So anything that has this, um, the other symbol on is mute it. So I won't hear anything that's happening in Cassidy's or Jennifer's or Hope's. I'm only hearing what's happening on Cole's. And I'm only hearing what's happening on the accompaniment track. So click that. The next step is to hit this little R right under Cole's name. That's going to turn on record mode. Even though I am using headphones for this recording, I don't want to hear myself uh, singing in my headphones. So I'm going to hit not using headphones and OK. And now that has turned red, telling me that this is the only track that I'm recording on. When that's red, you can hit on the little microphone next to your name, and you want to make sure that whatever headphones you're using is at the top here that says default. It should. E I'm using my AirPods right now, so that's what this is. Um, you should, if you plug in your um, like your iPhone headphones, they would show up here too, or you can hit whatever your built-in computer microphone is if you're on a laptop or if you're on a phone. I'll get to what you're doing on the phone if um, in a second. So once that's selected, you're going to go to the right here and see this little button that's like a cog with a little music wheel and two sound waves coming out of it. You're going to click that, and this is a volume check. It's going to set levels for you, so you don't really have to worry about it. You're just going to hit Start Test, and you're just going to be singing or talking a little bit, however loud you sing in the show. It'll tell you how um, that the volume check is done, and you can hit Done, and then you can exit out of that. Now I'm ready to record. Now what I'm going to do is when I'm ready, I'm going to hit this big red record button in the bottom and then that'll start uh, recording for me. It will count down and then I'll be able to begin. So it's counting down and you can't probably hear it but the sound is happening right now. It's happening th all summer long while you're stuck at the pool. I'm singing Broadway all day. If I stop that recording by either hitting the stop button or re-hitting the record button, and then this is what I just recorded. Say I mess up and I don't like what I did, I can just click on the, the track itself, and if I just hit the delete button, it will go away. 
So that's basically how it is. The biggest thing that you need to remember is this purple save button right here. If you do not hit save, it will not um, save anything that you just did. Um, and we need that to um, master the recording and things like that. So make sure you hit the save button there. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to walk you through it tomorrow as well. Um, and it's going to be great.